Hello and welcome to another Enter VN Gaming video and today we're going to do the Neo Kinemon event and I'm going to jump straight into it because otherwise this video will be like 7 hours long. We're going to start off with the Free Spirit version of uh, the Colosseum because it's probably the easiest one for me personally and probably for you. On stage 3 you're going to run into Doc Q. Uh, he just paralyzes a random unit for 5 turns, it's not too bad. You just have to tank 1 hit from him, which shouldn't be too bad. The team I'm using is a double time tip Luffy team, uh, Legend Sabo sub. Uh, invasion Shanks for the orb boost, Invasion Garp can re be replaced with Rare Recruit Sugar as well, and Kanjuru to give you matching orbs on the final stage. If you have um, the Rare Recruit of Ankov, that's the quick one, that's probably better to use. I actually do have that, but uh, I just prefer to use Kanjuru just because he has uh, some sockets. But uh, the Rare Recruit of Ankov is actually probably better, since uh, Kanjuru doesn't change bother orbs. So I tanked one hit there and used the Kuja ship special to heal up a tiny bit. That's not too important, but it is nice to uh, use it there. Stage 4 is going to be Crocodile. He has about 1 million HP. He will uh, change all your orbs into badly matching orbs and then lock them for one turn. You still have one more turn of paral Paralysis, so we're going to wait that out. Just do some chip damage on this turn. And then on the next turn, we're going to activate both Time Seat Luffy specials and activate the Sabo special as well. Since uh, on this turn you'll get the 1.75 times attack boost, and then the next turn onto um, Kinemon you'll get the 2 times attack boost. Just make sure you hit 4 perfects, otherwise, of course, you won't get the times 2 attack boost, and then you're just screwed. Luckily, this croc doesn't have too much HP, but even if you did, you should be fine. Okay, you might have like too many HP. <laughs> might be wrong on that one. Down to Kinemon himself. He will uh, cut your HP by half, he always does that, gives you random orbs. Here I got a couple of bother orbs. You can just reroll the orbs if you get too many bother orbs that are like on bad characters, but here it's fine for me, so I'm just gonna activate the Kanjuro, activate the Shanks, and then uh, kill him. Blam, with a lot of damage to spare as well. That was like 2 million extra damage. So as long as Shanks has a matching orb, it should be fine. Here he will uh, come back to life with about 700,000 HP. Um, games a type damage shield, so he pretty much takes damage from nothing. So you're gonna have to use a, a HP cut, uh, like an insta killer special, like Garp or Sugar. On to the second one, which is the Striker version. You're gonna run into Ricky on stage three. He's pretty straightforward. Just cuts your HP by 30%, and then silences strength and dex units for 10 turns, which is super annoying. The team I'm gonna be using is of course the Double Neko team. Times uh, Treasure Map Whitebeard is super great for this because he has a 1.75 times stat boost, and his special is really strong. Just gonna insta kill the Ricky because he hasn't he ain't got that much HP, so it's fine. On to Crocodile, he will randomize your orbs and then gain a 9 9 turn debuff protector. Pretty straightforward, does nothing crazy. Uh, so you just gotta kill him in two turns. I'm gonna use the Cairo special mainly for the damage, but I'm gonna take one extra turn just to do some chip damage because uh, it's, it's a bit close with the Cairo special. It's only 1.5 times all boost. I'm going to use Manchurian on the final stage to heal after the revive because it's very important. You can have a tank to hit with like a damage reducing special or heal up with if you have Manchuri or even better if you have Shira Hoshi, it's super easy. But since I don't have her, I'm going to have to use Manchuri. Still does the job, uh, not like decently. It's not like the perfect way. And then uh, just activate Kairos, get that matching orb on Whitebeard, and he will do most of the work for you since he's so buff right now. Onto Kinemon himself, he has three million HP. Text every turn for 8,000 damage, yada yada yada. Here he will change all your orbs into side orbs that aren't TND or meat. And look at that, I got two TND orbs. I was so mad. Luckily, this team is pretty damn strong. Use the Law Special for a 2.25 times orb boost and Neko Special to just to make uh, Whitebeard and Kairos have matching orbs. And you know what? This is enough damage to do 3 million with pretty much one special because, like, uh, Neko just keeps your matching orbs. So that's the sheer power of Law. Plus the stat boost from Whitebeard helps quite a lot here. He does 3 million damage by himself, so... <laughs> as long as Whitebeard doesn't have a TNE orb, he should be fine. Then he revives and gains a Rainbow Shield for 2 turns. And you pretty much do no damage against this Rainbow Shield, so I'm just gonna heal up and then tank a couple hits. Like, it's not even enough to get to 4 HP, unfortunately. If you had your Hiroshi, you'd definitely be able to get to max HP. Now I'm just gonna look up for some chip damage. You see here that I'm doing no damage with this Rainbow Shield. This is kind of dangerous because like if I get a, a TND or Meat Orb onto uh, Whitebeard, I'm pretty much screwed. 
Actually, it doesn't really matter too much because you don't know what color he's going to be. But uh, with Neko and Whitebeard, you should be able to do uh, the 1.3 million damage that he has, like regardless of typing. Obviously, the best is, would be uh, either in or Sai, but you should be able to be anything. Here he's uh, Sai. So luckily for me, Whitebeard is going to destroy him. But uh, apparently, oh my god, <laughs> I didn't use Whitebeard special, and I still killed him. I'm an idiot. I just didn't use Whitebeard special. Wow, that's, I, I didn't even realize. Well, this is super easy. <laughs> Onto the powerhouse one. This one gave me a lot of trouble, and this is not like a super safe team. But uh, it got the job done, and it should be able to do for the most part. On Speed Jill, he has a bunch of dudes with barriers, so I'm just gonna use Whitebeard Special to insta kill all of them, and then kill uh, Speed Jill himself. If you don't know what Whitebeard does, he uh, gives, gives you a times 2 orb boost, as well as giving himself an in orb. Onto Croc again, he has 2 million HP, randomly locks some units. Uh, I don't know about how long because I have <laughs> too much anti bind. And then he empties your orbs. Also reduces your damage by 70% for 2 turns, that's the super annoying thing. So he's gonna wait out that. This team is really shanky. Like, the Holy Jones obviously are like dying <laughs> slowly every turn. If you had a Rob Lucci, like if I had Rob Lucci, it'd be super easy. Uh, if you also have either Reiju or Reroku Daruma, uh, Kinemon is super easy. But unfortunately, I don't have either of those characters, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> slum it with this team. It's almost free to play, I guess, if you ha don't have a Legend Marco. You can use um, Psy Marco. I don't actually get to use the Orb Boost on uh, with this Marco, but. Oh well. So here I'm going to use Fujitora to burst Croc after his 70% uh, damage reduction is gone. Because after this, you can see his uh, attack is boosted and he's just going to kill you. So attack last with Whitebeard and Senji, obviously. Make sure that you uh, place them in the right places as well, so you get the orbs on Senji and uh, Whitebeard. Now onto Kinemon, he has 5 million HP, and then he paralyzes and silences your captains, both of them, for 3 turns, making it super annoying, it's hard to burst if you don't have Reiju or Daruma to remove that. I'm just going to use Marco to heal up and just tank the hits. I have freaking uh, 60,000 HP pretty much with uh, Holy Jones. So I uh, should be able to tank a couple hits here. When he dies, he does 23,000 damage, so <laughs> that's a lot of damage. I could actually tank it. Um, just without any damaging reduction specials, but the thing about this is like um, you don't know what typing is going to be, so you actually have to wait a couple turns, or you might not have to, uh, depending on what color he is, to do your maximum damage. You can probably kill him if he's either strength, psi. Yeah, strength or psi is probably the best bet. Dex is really hard to kill because you have so many quick units and no strength units at all. So over these turns, you just want to chip him down to below, not below, but like just above 50%. Because if you drop him below 50%, he uh, enrages and attacks every turn for about 16,000 damage, which uh, you don't want. So now my uh, captains are finally free from the paralysis and silence. And what color will he be now? Pretty sure he changes into uh, quick or dex. It's dex. This is the worst one probably because uh, I mean I have the Sanji, but like the two quick units makes it kind of risky. I think I mean you might be able to, but like I'm too worried about. It. I'd rather just take the turns to hope for something better. As you can see here, uh, he only hits for 8,000 damage, and even with the HP uh, reduction from Holy Jones, you still be um, get like 2 or 3 turns to look for a typing you want to attack him on. Uh, so here's his quick, which I really don't like, because I have no dex units whatsoever. I was wrong before, I actually have 1 strength unit, it's freaking Senji, but um, yeah, I don't like fighting a dex. It's possible I guess, but like, the, the best one obviously is um, Psy, because you have Holy Jones and a boosted white beard. And I think now he's going to change into a strength unit, and I, I just take that. Yeah, he's a strength unit. I'm just going to activate all my specials. Use Holy Jones for the 90% damage reduction. Use Rob Lucci for the matching orbs. And a heal, which is actually quite nice. Now I actually could just tank it without the Holy Jones, which is pretty funny. And then Senji for the times 2 attack boost. And then just hit your perfects. Obviously, last hit with your quick units. And uh, second to last would obviously be uh, Whitebeard. Blam. I actually don't even need a uh, Rob Lucci. So yeah, I mean, I, I played a bit safe. You probably could beat most of the colors, but uh, I didn't want to risk it. There, you see, I took like 2k damage. Now onto the final version, which is the most annoying version of them all, which is zero stamina, which uh, you can't use any units above 50 cost. So you can't use any legends unless they're unevolved. As you see, I actually used Diamante on stage one, uh, like immediately, because on the first stage, all striker specials are reduced by I think like 21 turns, which is crazy. Making uh, Diamante amazing because he delays all units for 
uh, two turns as well as doing end of turn damage. So on the first stage, all you have to do is desynchronize their attacks. Just make sure no one attacks you like on the same turn, and then you should be fine. It might take a couple tries because uh, sometimes the giants just don't want to play fair. But you have a lot of like it's zero stamina, so you can just try it as many times as you want. And plus, once you get past stage one, you pretty much just have one. The only stages you have to worry about is stage one, two, three, and five. Every other stage is like you can't lose. So on this stage, you can use Fuji Tora special, and I messed up because my Fuji Tora isn't max level meaning that these guys just don't insta-die. So make sure your Fujitora is max level, or you're gonna have to do what I do here and like kill them slowly over the turns. I got kind of lucky here that um, they weren't all on one CD. So just make sure your Fuji is max level, or you can also use Diamante Special, which I'm gonna have to use because I don't want to risk it. I mean, it's, it's fine to use Diamante Special because I'm gonna have to use it here anyway. You don't actually get the delay. All you have to do is get rid of the barriers on each guy, and then uh, the Diamante Special will just kill them for you. And then for the rest of the fight, it's just uh, trying to kill this speed deal. This is obviously a zombie team because uh, I have like no chance of being it with a regular team. There's no, I mean, there really is no chance unless you have uh, limited rare recruit Leo, who just got added into the rare recruit pool. So if you don't have him, pretty much you just have to zombie it. And for me, this took about an hour and a half. <laughs> so, uh, but if you beat it three times, you get ten gems, which I say it's pretty worth. I'm using obviously the tea time chopper for the zombie captain. The Kuja pirate ship will cut all my HP, which is why I'm down to freaking 100, which is pretty funny. Uh, Buggy, I'm just using for the additional drop. You can just use a different captain to get um, a, a bigger attack boost, so it will be a lot faster. But the drops that you get from this is actually amazing. There's 50, like, uh, a stack of 50 attack and HP cotton candy, and a universal skill book, so getting the buggy drops is actually pretty sweet. Here, I'm going to use the Magellan special. I forgot that Magellan Special actually does like no damage on the first turn. I was, I, like Raid Magellan Special actually does like 70,000. But um, not Raid, sorry, Legend Magellan. But um, Raid Magellan does like no damage at the beginning. I used Z uh, Lizabello there to uh, lower them. I actually messed up there because the Raid Magellan Special only does 1.5 million damage. Uh, and he heals 2 million HP every turn. So I had to, use, I had to wait for a Lizabello Special again to kill him. Dot Q is another stage you, you literally can't lose because he doesn't do anything. <laughs> like, there's only one unit. So you just to slowly beat him down. It took me, as you can see there, by the debuff protector, it took me 45 turns to kill him. So just keep activating Diamante specials, keep activating um, buggy specials, and you'll eventually kill him. This stage is the most annoying stage um, for the zombie. You just have to make sure that you kill the Lepins, or at least um, don't let him, let him drop below 50% because they will make sure they will make it so you can't heal and you're just screwed then you can't like the zombie team is over so onto croc and this is a stage you can't lose because there's just one guy and he does nothing other than do you like a bear <laughs> like a crap ton of damage also super annoying is that once he drops below 50% he attacks with like an animation like before 50% he just attacks normally so it, it's even longer than it should have been and then when he dies he actually lowers all your specials which is kind of nice Actually, he lowers all the specials of non-strikers? I don't know. Well, he lowers all the specials of some people. Then you're on to Kinemon, and once again, you can't lose, because he just keeps attacking you, and you have to wait up. What's annoying is he has like three like specials every turn, he changes typing, he par paralyzes you every turn, and it's just so long. So I, I couldn't be asked to fight him, so I just waited out the debuff protector, which is 99 turns, and then I just killed him with a Magellan special. Because like, just attacking him, he has 5 million HP, so attacking him every turn t just takes forever. So you might as well just like pass turn until you can use the poison. And, and like it's probably is faster just to do that rather than like try and attack him when you're paralyzed as well, which is just so silly. Here you can see I'm just like waiting for the poison to like even with the poison it takes forever to kill him. Then it, like he revives as well, five hundred thousand HP. So ah <laughs> oh god, and finally he's dead. So yeah, this is a long ass uh, Colosseum, but uh, like it's probably worth it. Killing Mon is actually a really powerful character. Now that he's a Neo unit, he doesn't actually have to be above 70% HP to give you those matching orbs, so that's really powerful. So if you can max him out, I'd definitely uh, do so. Plus there's those Chopper Man missions you should do, as you see here, like the rewards are amazing. Like freaking Hime Tail is okay I guess, but like the double cotton candies of 50 is so good. And then the buggy freaking duplicates the Kinemon, like god damn it. Well that's it for this video, post in the comments below any other teams you have to beat Neo Kinemon. Join the Discord if you like, if you want any more tips, you can uh, contact me there. If you're feeling generous, you can donate to the PayPal. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, my Nakama!